Welcome, welcome, guys. How's everybody doing? Welcome, welcome, Crip No Fudge. And let's jump right into this, guys. All right, so I know everybody's having a great day today. The market is looking absolutely fantastic today, right? We are looking good. We're having a little bit of a cool off right now with Bitcoin. But geez, did we not cover all, did we not call all this on the last uh, few streams for this past weekend, right? And, and really the last week, we've been having, you know, some down days, obviously, since we had the FOMC meeting. But, you know, even this video that I made this morning, I was like, guys, listen, and also the streams for the last few days, I was like, we are just, the market is just looking, you know, it just it's looking strong, right? And, you know, obviously you can't predict what's going to happen, you know, the next day, but the way that what the way the charts were looking was that we were going to most likely see a day like we saw today. And, and obviously Bitcoin jumped up all the way up to $71,215 where it hit its head. Now, I don't want you guys to focus particularly on where we hit our head. My main focus and what I think you guys should probably look forward is where are we going to find support, right? We want to see us find that support. Like I was saying on earlier video today and, and really this past uh, weekend on our streams was that we want to find support above the 69,000. That's where we want to find su some support. If As long as we're finding support above that line, I think we're going to be set up beautifully to where we're still on track for Bitcoin and my prediction to hit six seventy six to eighty thousand dollars, and then obviously with that being said, we're gonna see obviously positive movement with Milady as well. You know, even with what's going on uh, or the last you know uh, week that Bitcoin was kind of down. You know, broken record here. I was saying the same thing. It was like we had been just holding so strong on this two hundred day moving average right here. This SMA. 200 day moving average that it was just giving me that beautiful confidence that I knew that we were going to continue to move up and things are going to be looking fine. And you can see today, uh, Milady made a new local high, right? Obviously not an all time high, but a local high for the last week. We jumped up, we jumped up to 34 today. And if, if you think about where we were at to the all time high, we are technically, we are technically drum roll. 27% away from our all-time high. Obviously, we have dipped a little bit down from then, but I mean, guys, listen, 27% away from all-time highs. Right now, we're about 40%, so we have dropped about 10% from that local high today, but who cares, right? Who cares? You guys are getting another little dip, you know, to maybe dip your chip in that dip and just eat it up. Now, let's jump into the chat and say what's up to everybody. I hope everybody's having a great day today. I know I am. Let's see here. So Blue Oyster was first in the chat. What's going on, bro? Miles, what's going on, bro? You need to turn that name into green, dude. And if you guys are wondering how they're turning their name into green and using these uh, exclusive emojis, hit that join button. We had a, um, a mem members-only stream this past weekend, really just tackling DeFi, how to get into DeFi uh, as far as buying and selling and really mapping out uh, DeFi plays as they come out, right? So make sure you guys, and this weekend, we're going to be looking at support levels, SMA, moving averages, fib retracements, all that good stuff as far as how what I use to trade and really what I use to trade for um, quick uh, quick terms like day trading, leverage trading, stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in all that good stuff, make sure you guys hit that join button. Only five bucks to join. Miles, what's going on? Adam, he said, what the hell is going on with Lady F? We're going to cover that right now, brother. Just give me a few seconds here. Amor Rawls family, what's going on, guys? How are you guys doing? Let's see here. A poppy, what's going on? Pap on deck. Carlos in the house. Austin. Nico, what's going on, brother? TJ, my boy Flip. Flip, you need to turn that into green. You too, TJ. Uh, Iman, what's going on? Isaac saying, call, call. JoJo's in the house. BP, that's family right there. We already know. Randy, family, Muhammad, family, what's going on? Troy, Miles, we got the whole gang in here. Prodigy in the house. What is going on, guys? I'm kind of pumped today. I'm kind of pumped. I really am. We've had such a great day today in the markets. And I'm going to show you a couple plays that I made as far as uh, jumping in on some, some things that haven't really exploded just yet. So 
what we were talking about was Milady obviously jumped up to 34, looking great. I would love to see her find some support right here at this 30 mark. Just like with Bitcoin on that 69. Hey, 69. If we can find ladies above this 30 right here, just finding that beautiful support. Guys, I'm telling you, we are setting up in the next few days. We're going to be breaking all-time highs. My prediction, right? If we can find that support. If we can find that support. Now, you can see the market cap has jumped up. We are at around $226 million. And for volume, we are up 32% at around 32 million dollars is that coincidental 32 percent, 32 million dollars so we're looking fantastic guys we're looking absolutely great so let's jump right in so someone was asking about lady f lady f is a um the the project that they dropped for um solana right and a couple of things i wanted to bring this up even if if someone didn't even ask i wanted to bring it up so you guys can see they had an amazing pre-sale right i guess you can call it amazing i mean this thing was all the way all the way up here right when it first launched and you can see it has gone all the way down here uh since then right because you had so many people just jumping on that pre-sale and literally just sell off they sold off immediately right so i mean a lot of times whenever you have those big pre-sales that's what that's what you're gonna see right you're gonna see that we actually saw the same thing happen with jupiter swap right so i'm not saying that this project's bad or anything like that i really don't know anything about it other than it's just kind of an offshoot from the same devs that are are our beloved beloved me lady and people are like why the hell did they even do this well i told you guys this i i even said it in the uh, video earlier and i've said it multiple times on the streams what i'm this is me speculating but i'm pretty sure they're just trying to tap into that Solana market. They're trying to get more investors into Milady, the actual Milady project. So in order for them to do that, they have to bring awareness, bring attention to a different source of people, right? So they're tapping into um, Solana, which is a, the biggest ecosystem right now. DeFi is going absolutely crazy, right? So they're trying to get into all those people, trying to get them to at least be aware of Milady, right? Even if you're not buying in on, on Lady F, it at least is bringing some awareness to actually the me lady meme coin so not a bad move on my and on my end like as far as like what i what i'm seeing them it's not a bad move it just stinks if, if people actually bought in you know when this thing got launched i always tell you guys and i know no fudders are better than that whenever something launches especially with a pre-sale particularly if you didn't get in on that pre-sale be very careful because it's always going to come out it's going to dump and if you just have patience you might be able to buy in at a better uh position right so and anybody that basically caught this project down here it's looking not too bad i mean it's up 60 percent for the uh for the day so not too bad looks like a double top is coming out so it might have a little bit more pain and you know what i i bring this out because this is a big project right 60 million dollars over almost two million dollars in liquidity right and look what's going on with this project you have a lot of people just buying in and dumping right or you had a lot of people that got bought in and dumped right and i've been trying to explain this you know we just launched a new project for the channel no fud koala right and just like any other project there's volatility right i mean our market cap is nowhere near where uh, me or lady f is right so we're gonna see even more volatility right and we had a couple people in the chat or not in the chat but in the discord and i'm gonna put the discord on um on the uh the chat so you guys can jump in if you want to join if you want to talk about crypto even in the middle of the night these guys are talking about crypto so come join but for our our token that we just dropped for the channel no fud koala right we're building the community and you know that one of the guys was just like why is your why is sir uh you know why are we going up and then going down I'm like because that's what charts do bro and especially when you first launch a project it's you know you're gonna see a, a big move obviously right we saw we were up thousands of percent and now we have people taking profit you know it's the name of the game i'm telling everybody listen let those people because they sniped in right they sniped in down here bought in a lot and they've been selling off right but look where we're at right now we're up 21 percent for the day we had a dip today right and we still ate that dip up for the project so honestly i am not worried about this project whatsoever there obviously is always going to be volatility in any project right we're, we're literally going i think three days right now we're three days old our market cap is is relatively low at 600k right so i mean we're going to see volatility in this market take advantage of it eat the dips up we have a lot of things rolling out we have a lot of people working hard on the back end 
that just finished the white paper, you know, for the project. We have NFTs that are going to be coming out. I'm actually going to be talking to the squad and we're probably going to be doing some airdrops where all you have to do is buy in a certain amount of no FUD and I'm going to be airdropping uh, probably double what you buy in into your wallet. So we'll talk about that as we move on. But I'm telling you guys, we got big things coming on, big things coming on. So if you're able to and you know how to, I know all my members know how to because we, we went through this class on the last weekend. Jump in whenever you can, whenever you find a dip or whenever you're just comfortable because right now the market cap is, is relatively low. So not a bad time. I just marked it on the uh, the chat. That's going to be your address or you can always come in on deck screener and search it up. No FUD Koala. Dollar sign NFK. That's all you have to put in, and you can find it on Jupiter and Radium, the two biggest swaps on Solana. And like I said, dollar cost average in, market cap's low. Come support the channel, support the team, and make some money with us, right? TJ just became a member, bro. About time, man. Your family, bro. Your family, bro. Now, now you have exclusive content and drop those emojis on there. <laughs> welcome, welcome, bro. Welcome, welcome. Now, let's jump on looking at the market to be expected, right? Sea of green, sea of green today. We only have a few little reds and I can't believe that dog with hats down 3%, that's crazy. But you can see all the projects for the top 100 and I'm sure if we scroll through the top 500, they're all doing fantastic today. So everything is looking absolutely great. MC said, you made your own coin? Well, I made, I made my own token with the help of a lot of uh, people on the channel this is not my token. This is the channel's token, right? So we're all in this together and we're building We're building up, right? This is an opportunity, right? For not just myself to make content and stuff like that, but we can, you know, build the, the token as well long term and we'll have something going parallel with as I build up the channel, right? And I'll always promote it and we can build and make money together, right? So I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. So... Definitely, definitely, definitely. MC said, add the lady bubble. <laughs> He's, he always wants to see that me lady bubble. He always wants to see that me lady bubble. Where is she? Where is she at? Where is she at? She's like right in my face and I don't see her. I just popped it up, but uh, where is she? Let me put my beer down. Let's put her on uh, we'll put her on the favorites. Can't believe she's not on there already. But where is she at? This is the top 300. I want to like find her on my own. Where is she? Anybody see her? Anybody see her? Where is she at? Where is she at? I don't know. What the hell is going on? She's not on here. I don't know, bro. Be peace. What's going on, brother? Family, family. Michael said, hell yeah, I got 8.7 billion NFK today. Nice, bro. Sitting over here like a little whale. Uh, let's see. I had to to reset my password. Oh, okay. Yeah, be peace. Reminding everyone, make sure you guys hit that like. We're doing. We're not doing bad. We got 50 over 50 people, 25 likes. Let's do, let's do. Let's go, let's go. Let's not do, let's go. So let's see here. So like I said, guys, me ladies looking fantastic, looking absolutely amazing. Bitcoin went off for a beautiful rally like we called it. We called it this weekend, right? I didn't. I just couldn't say 100% Bitcoin's going up to 70K just because you never know, right? We always we could always get hit with a curveball. Always, always, always. So you got to be very careful. I want to make sure that whatever we're bringing out here is, uh, is, is true, right? I don't want to come out here and just speculate. Real quick, I want to bring up a play that I jumped in on. I jumped back in on ALI. You guys remember I was I was in here and I jumped out jumped out somewhere up here. I did buy back in on ALI. This is an AI project that has a very small market cap and it's only up about 2% today. Been consolidating like crazy, so I was like, "You know what? I'm going to jump in and, and uh, reopen up my position." So, jumped in on this. I wanted to make sure I brought this to you guys' attention. Obviously, do your own research. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to jump in on the project, but a small market cap and an AI uh, project as well. So you guys know when AI projects go on their rallies, like they always do every freaking like two to three weeks now, I'm sure AI will have a, a beautiful pump as well. And 
let's pull up the market cap real quick for ALI. For ALI, the market cap is around 100 million, 110. But this project, technically, to only to get to a dollar, would need to get to about 3.5 billion, which is sounds big, right? But you guys don't understand. Some of you do, some of you don't. When we're in the thick of this bull run, a billion dollar market cap is going to be a small project. We're in the when we're in the middle of the uh, the thick of the bull run, it's going to be a small project. So I easily could see this project jumping up well over a billion dollars very easily. So we'll see how that plays out. Keep you guys mapped out for that. One thing I wanted to bring to you guys' attention is the um, the wallets for me, lady. We're up almost twenty one thousand. Uh, wallets opened up for me lady so we are moving and it seems like we're moving pretty fast too so everything's looking good crypto.com still holding the crown for the top wallet uh, bybit number two and then crypto.com number four as well and gate.io at number six kucoin number eight you guys can see for the top like the top like 14 right here, it's like nine of them are all exchanges on Milady. So that's a good thing. It really is a good thing. We do have a couple of mysterious wallets in between here, right? But I mean, for the most part, especially the top two, you're talking about 35, 36% are all held by exchange. And I mean the top or not the top nine, but the nine out of the 14 are all exchanges as well. So definitely a good thing right there when you see exchanges being the bigger bagger bag holders on the um, on the uh, project that just means as far as whale manipulation it'll be far and fetch right in between so let me see here let me pin this to the top <clears throat> and like I told you guys um, the the discord I'm gonna pin that up here in a second too. the discord is is running guys it's running if you guys I, I just i get uh i get joy coming on there because i'm i'm a busy guy right and i come in on the uh discord and i'll see everybody talking you know just talking about crypto people coming in new people asking questions and i love seeing you know just everybody out there just lending a hand and helping everybody out so we got crypto tip in the house with the yes lord what's up girl that's my tampa girl right there uh tonic or tectonic I'm allowed to go all in on Pepe after this pump. Are you? Let's. What's Pepe doing right now? How's How's Pepe looking? Not looking bad. If you um, I don't know if you've been around Tectonic, but I've been talking about Pepe, saying, you know, this recent dip that we just had, Pepe and Milady as well, but really Pepe from this all time high did not drop much, right? You can see she literally is sitting right below the two three six. And I mean, she's looking very bullish. She kept a lot of the gains uh, that that they made, you know, obviously making an all time high right here. And really, she bounced down, but it wasn't as much as, as a lot of other projects retraced. Right now, the, the bounce up hasn't been as epic as as a lot of other projects, I think, because the retracement wasn't as much. So you could tell with, with Pepe that a lot of people are holding strong, just like me, lady. So I wouldn't be surprised if we're talking about all-time highs for Pepe as well coming up here soon. So it looks very well, looks very good. And I've been telling you guys every time, I don't do social media a lot, but every time I get on to like Facebook, I see advertisement, believe it or not, advertisement all over Facebook and it's freaking Pepe. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, that's awesome that they're uh, the people that are um, paying for promotions on Pepe are doing really well. They're they're spreading the word, and that's what it's all about. That's why me lady opened up Lady F right to bring in more investors, try to tap into a, an untapped market that they haven't seen right. That they they are they're trying to get users to come over to me lady right. Well, you can see Pepe is trying to tap into new users as well by uh, by doing promotions on social media and stuff like that. Just trying to bring awareness to their project. So that might be a big reason why they've been holding so strong on Pepe. So let's see here. Randy said you got to look at Soul Mail. Soul Mail doing good. Up 141%. Nice. Holy crap. Remember, Randy, we were talking about this. Is this the one that does the emails? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So remember, you were asking me, you're like, "Is this gonna be a good project?" I was like, "Bro, listen, I can't tell you the future, but I was like, that I think that's pretty freaking cool 
that uh, you're going to be able to send, uh, you know, messages via your wallet, like emails and stuff like that, or receive mail via your wallet. I think that's pretty freaking awesome, honestly. I was telling everybody, you know, I still use the mail, right? I still use email and stuff like that. So just the fact that some that they came out, and I'm sure there's other competitors, but like I said, Solana, number one ecosystem, they came out. I was like, bro, this project's going to do really well. And at the time when Randy brought this to our attention, the market cap was like at like 15, 20 million dollars, and you can see now it's at 40 million dollars. You guys got to watch Randy, because that guy right there. He tries to come out like he's like, oh, you know, like nonchalant. Like he's, you know, I do crypto here and there. The guy is a little crypto wizard. The guy is a crypto wizard. So you got to, you guys really need to watch him. All right. So thank you so much for the $10, brother. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, dude, for the support. I really do appreciate that, brother. So was it, so was that you today talking about in the gym? You're happy. <laughs> he was all sketched out thinking the cameras. If that was so. I'll say the story. He was in the gym today. We were talking about this in the Discord. He was talking about he was in the gym. Biggest guy in the gym is what he was saying. Biggest guy in the gym. And he was uh, doing some trades on his phone. And he was like, bro, can the cameras see what I'm doing? And I was like, dude, they would have to like be hacking into your wallet. You know, all this stuff. There's no way in hell <laughs> the cameras are getting into your stuff, bro. I think that was you, right? So <laughs> thank you again, bro, for the for the $10. I really appreciate that. Go said, who's the biggest pimp? How many ladies you got, bro? Be careful asking that question around here, bro. I'm telling you, go be careful asking that question. Because if we got the hitters in here tonight, we got whales. We got whales amongst us for sure. So be careful. Uh, Scott, you got to update your thing, bro. We got we got 30 likes. We got 30 likes. But he's saying we got 60 people in here and only 30 likes. What's going on, guys? Hit that like for me, lady. Hit that like for uh for everything, right? For the whole market, we're doing good. Bitcoin did looks like it it, it uh, dropped a little bit below seventy thousand. But like I said, guys, the one thing I want you guys to take out of all this is that we want to focus on where Bitcoin's finding support. And as long as Bitcoin can find some support, like I think it would be healthy if Bitcoin comes down and just bounces off this support level right here. This support level, to be exact. It's somewhere around the $69,000 even, right? So if we can come down and find that support at that $69,000, we are setting ourselves up for a beautiful run, right? So Bitcoin had an epic run in the last day or two. So you're going to see somewhat of a retracement. But like I keep telling you guys, we're focused on where we're finding support. That's the big thing. And the same thing for Milady. If Milady, she went on a, a, a run, obviously, right? made an, a local high not an all-time high but a local high right here at the 34 which was only like 20 25 percent away from its all-time high but what we're focused on is where are we going to find some support if she can find some support around this 29 30 mark we're setting ourselves up for a beautiful run so soul said no not me oh my bad dude <laughs> so it wasn't soul my bad bro but thank you so much for the ten ten dollars, bro. I appreciate that. And uh, Kittles, is that Kittles? Kittles in there with the NFK fire, NFK fire, bro. We ate that dip up today. I was telling people in the chat, there's a couple people were like, "Is this a good time to buy?" And I was like, "Bro, I keep telling everybody." I was like, "Listen, I'm not gonna give you guys financial advice. That you guys are all big guys, big boys, big girls, and I mean like you guys are adults, right?" But I will tell you, if you take advantage of these little volatility dips that we have for right now, let me see here. It showed me the percent earlier. Let me see if it'll give it to us now, if this thing will work. Yeah, look at this. If you'd have ate that dip up, that was a 200% move right there. 200% move right there today on, on our project. We dropped and it bounced 200% today, guys. I'm, I'm telling you, take advantage of the dips. Whoever, if because if, we had some whales jump in, right? And we needed them to jump in, right? They're, they brought us liquidity. They brought us the market cap, right? Now, if they want to take their profits, let them take it. Eat the dip. We'll continue to take their positions, right? We'll continue to take their positions. And I'm doing the same thing as well. I'm doing the same thing, eating up the dip. I actually, well, while this happened, I bought in. I bought in. I was like, hell yeah, and just continue to add to my bag. Because at the end of the day, I know where we're headed. 
right? I know where we're headed, so. So everything's looking pretty good, pretty good, guys. Real quick, I wanted to check out this article right here. So Bitcoin pumps above 70K as crypto rally resumes. Analysts set $83,000 price target. And that kind of goes about what we've been talking about. Remember, I've been I've been saying prediction uh, pre happening somewhere around 76 to 80,000. They're they're going to take it up to 83. So I hope they're right and I'm wrong, right? But let's see here. So Bitcoin took out the $70,000 level after a 10-day cool off. The rally didn't trigger mass shorts. The rally didn't trigger mass short liquidations, suggesting that there wasn't many market participants using leverage to bet on fallen prices. You better believe that. You start trying to uh, short Bitcoin right now. I mean, you might win. You might win one, but you're going to get wrecked eventually. And today was that day. Uh, Bitcoin could reach 83,000 after breaking upward, upward from its consolidation pattern, 10x research said. So cryptocurrencies started this week with a strong rally bouncing back from recent losses as Bitcoin once again traded above its 2021 peak. Bitcoin surged past 70,000 on Monday during U.S. trading hours, surpassing a level for first time in 10 days and gaining more than 7% over the past 24 hours. Ethereum's, Ethereum was up 6% during the same period, while tokens for major layer block one, ch uh, block one chains, Solana, obviously they're going to talk about Solana, right? And Avalanche, Avalanche is coming up to advance more than 10%. The rally extended to virtually all digital assets within the con consultants of broad market. Being in the green and the gauge up for 6% for the day. The sudden resurgence liquidated 195 million of leveraged de uh, derivatives positioned across all crypto assets. Some 129 million of them being short positions seeking the profit from lower prices. Bitcoin short liquidations reach 53 million, less than an average daily figure of the recent period. And you know what? I know no one in this channel was le leverage trading shorts. I know that for a fact because if you guys were watching the channel, we had been tell we've been pretty much showing the writing on the wall this past weekend that Bitcoin was looking like it was wanting to rip. And same thing with me, lady. So anybody that got wrecked today, you know, they weren't watching the channel, and that's what happens, right? They're not watching the channel. They're not making money. It's, I mean, that's the only way you can look at it, right? It's the only way you can look at it. So let's see here what they're predicting. So Monday surge signaled a potential end of recent cor uh, correction for crypto markets, which saw Bitcoin's drop below 61000 last week from record prices of above 73000 coupled with uh, trepid inflows to new U.S. listed spot Bitcoin ETFs and increased selling of Grayscale uh, they're fun. Yeah, Grayscale's like we talked about this too. They're the ones that really have been causing and they were doing this previously. They were causing the uh the mass selling pressure, right? And today obviously they got taken over. I don't we'll see the numbers probably tonight or tomorrow. Maybe they had more inflows and outflows finally. Um so they're pretty much showing a chart of what it looks like how we're in this uh this triangle right here and that they're showing some kind of a breakout somewhere around 80 to 85 thousand dollars on this chart is what they're uh they're showing could be the breakout and that would pretty much line us up on what we've been talking about bitcoin pre-happening getting somewhere around 76 to 80 thousand dollars so hopefully everything plays out everything looks great guys the markets are looking very healthy today and it's good to see us back up and running it really is great to see us back up and running now, let's check out something that was real big today was, um, I know all my call, call people out there. Remember, I'll do call, but I'm not going to be doing, do you guys remember we looked up the um, koala sounds? <laughs> if you are interested in that, check out what koala sound like on your own time. It's kind of crazy, but you guys probably will not hear me making those sounds on this microphone because you're going to probably be like, this guy needs freaking help. And real quick, real quick. Today's video, I had a deleted comment. Somebody in here, I forget, I think his name was, oh, I'm not even going to call him out. But somebody was on the comments acting slick, saying, bro, do you even know how to read? It's not having, there's not two ends in it, it's having. And I'm like, I didn't reply, but I'm so sorry, bro. I'm a human, and I'm sorry that I'm so fixated on saying having. So now I'm going to purposely say having on every stream, every stream until after we're done. And I hope you're watching, bro. It's all love. 
But come on, dude. When you got to learn how to approach people, you got to come on the comments and be like, hey, Crip, bro, you know, it's actually it's it's happening, not happening, you know, but I'm sure you probably haven't learned that yet. But now I'm teaching you. I'm, I'm going to be your dad for today and I'm going to show you how you approach people. It, it's going to help you out past the crypto market as well. Right. You got to be approachable. And that right there wasn't approachable. So fix yourself. All right. But I won't I won't get offended over it. But I did delete your comment because this is Crip No FUD. This isn't Crip Crybaby on in the comments. All right. So got him. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So call today. Made all time highs. Call's been killing it. Made it up to about 21.5. And you know what? Everybody that told me to sell a few days ago, I am pissed off at y'all. Because y'all told me to sell my position for a little measly $300 that I made in 30 minutes. And I could have been freaking twice. I could have 2 x my whole damn position right there. So I'm freaking pissed, guys. Can y'all, can we, remember we did this two weeks ago? Could we possibly, and I'm just asking, this is, I'm being honest. Could y'all stop buying in on call for a little while? Let's bring the price down a little bit so I can jump in. And I, I pinky promise I'm not going to sell. Pinky promise, all right? I'm not going to sell. All I'm asking is maybe a little dip down towards this like 53 area right here so I can just jump in real quick. And then that's it. That's it, all right? I'm just messing with you, but I really would appreciate that, man. I really would. I, I'm waiting for a, a little dip on call so I can jump in. But one thing I want to point out is when call jump, when call started, we pointed this out, new project, right? Started off and look at the volatility. This thing jumped up. You can see, I mean, we spent we shot up on call, right? But this dip, these dips right here were 50, 60, 70% dips right here. And at the time you're long here and you're looking at the sales because I'm always, I'm always creeping the sales and you're seeing $20,000 sales back to back. And I'm like, holy crap, is something going on with the project? You know, it's, it's natural, but it was, what it was, was that you had a lot of people jump in and we actually called this out on the members and the uh, the Discord when it was down here at the five hundred thousand dollar market cap, it's at fifteen million dollars. Anybody that jumped in is has thirty x their uh, their investments. And I know what all you guys did, you know. So shout out to all you guys. But the point of what I'm getting to is, there's going to be volatility. You're going to have people that jumped in early in the game, right? And they're going to sell off eventually. It's going to get to a certain point where. They're like, all right, I, I'm. This is where I'm going to take profits because for whatever reason, they obviously think that, the, that it's not going to go any higher, right? Well, these people sold off like crazy, and like I said, by the hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? This thing dropped like crazy, only to rebound and make even higher highs. So when you see that with projects, and I say that, and I refer back to our No Fud Koala project that we dropped, there's going to be volatility, right? But we're setting ourselves up in the long run for a big run. So I hope you guys do join with us, but just always invest responsibly, right? Take advantage of the dips. If you just saw that dip today, you'd be up 200% today. So with that being said, you know, just be careful out there. Be careful with any DeFi project. It doesn't matter if it's call, if it's our project or whatever it is. Just be careful because at the end of the day, anything can happen, right? So guys, listen, with oh, calls and crazy, yeah, crazy is pumping, crazy is pumping. Let me make sure. Oh, my boy, uh, Kittles. Am I saying your name properly, Kittles? I hope I am, bro. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the squad, bro. Welcome to the squad. And uh, I'm sure you look kind of new around here, bro, but just make sure. Um, I don't know if if, I, if you're not, it, it, no big deal. But uh, we have um, the members-only streams are going to be on the weekend. This weekend, we're, we're, it, we usually do on Saturday, but when we did take, um, when we asked a bunch of questions to the uh, to the whole member squad, they said they wanted to fluctuate between Saturday and Sunday. So maybe this weekend we'll do a Sunday stream. It's always going to be before the actual stream. So I will let every everybody know basically in the member squad. And we're going to be covering, like I said, fib retracements, SMA moving averages. You guys would have caught these dips, you know, and I'm going to show them a lot easier on this, on this week's... Um, uh, members only stream fib retracements uh, resistance resistance lines I'm trying to think of everything but we're going to be learning the whole charts and everything how I use leverage trading and day trading and stuff like that so I hope you guys are ready for that now let me see here bro I'm ready to jump into call and didn't drop yet I know bro I'm right there with you oh it was a more it was a more that was at the gym today right a more that's who it was
<clears throat> I'm just reading all the chats here. <laughs> Token, what's going on? Let's see here. Scott Smith said, I'm I'm not the one though. I got twenty two billion. Nice, nice. Nico call call. Thank you for letting us know about call. No problem, bro. No problem, bro. I'm happy that you're I'm hope I'm happy that all you guys you guys aren't just up. You guys are freaking balling on call, dude. You guys really are. I'm jealous now. I'm jealous that I freaking I sold out, but it is what it is. I promise I'm jumping right back in. I am jumping right back in, guys. So don't worry. Oh, Amor said, yep, he was at the gym today trying to hide my face. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, man. Don't worry, dude. Like I said, only way for them to get into your wallet, especially your DeFi wallet, is they have to have your uh, fit, your your key phrase, right? So those 15 to 25 words that they provide to you that I told you guys, we talked about this in the members only stream. You need to make sure when you open up a DeFi wallet that you write all those num you have to write them down, right? They're gonna they're gonna be numbered too. One, two, three, four. Make sure that you write them in order. Take a picture of them. Write them down on another piece of paper. So you need to put one in your safe. You need to put one under your pillow. You need to take a picture, screenshot it. It needs to be on multiple spots in your house, right? And spots that you know you can find. Don't just take a picture of it on your phone because if something happens to your phone and that's your only source of of uh, finding that phrase keys. You're, you could you could be setting yourself up right so make sure that, I always write I literally write my stuff down on papers and I put them like hide them around you know what I'm saying just so uh, in the event if I ever need them which I have needed them switching phones you you're gonna need uh, you know you're gonna need that getting on if like let's say I add a DeFi wallet on my uh, my computer you're gonna need that right they're not gonna just take some email and a password you're gonna need your phrase your phrase keys so make sure you guys write those down and do like I would do like multiple things as far as making sure you can get a hold of those so let's see here we covered pretty much any articles me ladies nothing's going on on me ladies uh, Twitter for today we covered the wallets NFKs running we have that pinned the address on here for uh, for no fud koala this is a play that I jumped in on let's see what's trending book of meme How's Book of Meme doing? They're starting to retrace. Starting to retrace. Bitcoin's looking good. Let's see here. Yeah, TJ said you need the phrase. Definitely need the phrase, so you'll be all right. Yes. So when you buy a new phone or more, you're going to need the phrase. You're going to need your phrases to transfer your wallet over 100%. So that's why I'm saying you need to make sure you write it down. Take a screenshot, put it in your email. Well, I don't put it in your email. Don't put it in your email. But most likely, just to save from like any kind of hacking, I would write the shit down on multiple papers and put them in safe spots in your house, right? S uh, t take a picture of it and text it to a family member. So they'll just have it on their phone, right? Little things like that. So if you ever need to, uh, you know, abstract those uh, that those phrase keys, they're going to be in multiple spots. Don't just do, don't just rely on one one spot to find them. Because, like I said, you know, if something happens, you you know, and you need to get it, and that one spot's not available, or or it's whatever, it's gone. You know, it, it's not a good feeling. And you can cry to them and call. They will not help you out whatsoever. They're, they can't. You guys have all heard those beautiful stories of like all the the Bitcoin millionaires or billionaires. That have you know wallets out there that they don't have the phrase keys, and there's millions of or not millions but thousands of uh, Bitcoin that are untouched because of that. So real quick, looking at Book of Meme, you guys can see we talked about this project went crazy. Re, uh, you know, found some uh, it went crazy, retraced like crazy, right? But found some support, and it is on a nice consolidation right now. I want to see this thing get some confirmation above the 0.5. It looked like it was starting to confirm right here, but then it dropped. And I think this was the other day. Actually, this was yesterday. So the markets weren't doing too bad yesterday. So, you know, with this project, I, I, I've i been telling everybody just to be careful, right? We heard about some manipulation going on when this was up here uh, for some people that work for Binance. 
and you never know, right? You never know. This this thing unnaturally ran up to a billion dollars in a day. So that's why I just been telling everybody be careful with that project, for sure. But I think down the road, if it can, uh, you know, weather the storm, it's going to do pretty well. So it's going to do pretty well. Let's check out some projects real quick, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. The stream is not going to be for too long because it is uh, it's mom's birthday tonight. So they're already actually waiting for me. They just texted me. <laughs> so I have to go, unfortunately. Or I'm going to be in some uh, in some trouble, right? Because you, you always got to make sure you, for mom, you got to, you know, you guys know how it is. Jasmine's sitting above two cents. Jasmine's been looking good. And I will point out that it looks like Jasmine might, even though this is not a beautiful, not the, the prettiest kind of a bear flag that we want to see. I mean, I'm sorry, bull flag. But we'll run with it and let's see if it breaks out. Looks like we have a pull and some kind of a uh, some kind of a fallen wedge here, or a bull flag forming. So looks great. I honestly think Jasmine's on the verge of a nice breakout. It it hit these all time or these uh, local highs, and you can see it retrace. But since then it has it has bounced and it looks like it's consolidating, possibly setting up for another big run here. So wouldn't be surprised if um. But uh, Jasmine does really well here soon, as the whole market is, right? And Soul said, happy birthday, mom. Appreciate that, bro. Andrew said, uh, I'm I'm mainly Milady meme coin and a little bit of Shiba and others, but I actually sold most of my Shiba to buy in on Milady's. Nice. I don't think that's a bad play, bro. I honestly don't think. I think that Shiba is going to do really well, but I think for as far as if you compare gains, I think me ladies is going to do better, honestly. And you guys always know what I use as far as that analogy is that me ladies market cap is so small. $200 million market cap versus Sheba's at like $9, million, eight, $9 billion, right? So Sheba's market cap is literally like 50x from where we're at right now. So, I mean, the, the potential for gains, I think, are going to be higher on a project like me lady, my opinion, so... Bitton said no alert from YouTube. You know what? I'm noticing that people are saying that whenever I I do like you know we were uh, we had like the the pre setting up for uh, it'll give it'll let you know like I'm the the sh the stream starting at at six o'clock today or whatever the case was. I'm noticing that a lot of people are telling me that they didn't get the alert, right? So I might need to just stop doing those. Um, go back to what we were doing. Just start the live right without doing any kind of a uh, like pre pre uh, whatever the hell you want to call it. TJ said, I can't get into the Discord. Why can't you get into the Discord, bro? Let me see. I'm going to post the Discord in the uh, chat real quick. I'm going to post it in the chat. TJ, try that link right there. I just posted it in the chat. That's going to be the Discord. And then we did just launch a Discord for actual um, no FUD Koala. I did update the deck screener, but for right now, I think they didn't. It's, it hasn't gone through. So every time you click into the deck screener on the Discord, it's going to send you to the, our general, um, our general um, Discord. So uh, just be ready. And if you join the general Discord, we, we can uh, send you the link for the... Um, for the other one for the no fud sorry i'm trying to pin the damn comment and it's like not letting me yeah yeah tj just try the new link i just sent there it is replace pin there we go it's pinned on top so you can jump on it randy thank you so much soul thank you so much for the happy birthdays for mom i appreciate that bro Gene said, do you think Leash can reach 15K in the next bull run? I mean, you know we covered Leash, and we'll pull it up real quick. It's got such a small market cap, bro. Such a small market cap that, I mean, it could. It it could, right? It's a new project, so it has that would be an all-time high. But, I mean, look at this Look at this run right here. Ran all the way up to, uh, what, 16, over 1,600 easily. The market cap is so small for this that, I mean, I don't know. It, it would be in uncharted territories, right? Price discovery mode. So me calling a $15,000 one would be just me pulling it out of the hat. But I do think that it's going to break this high right here. 
And this thing, I could see probably it getting up to three, four, five thousand dollars most likely. Remember, I'm always going to be conservative, so I do think it's going to do really well just because the market cap is so low. And you saw this big explosion of a move right there. So, and look what it's doing hanging above the 200 day, finding that beautiful support. So, definitely looking great on the project. BP, I appreciate that, bro. Blue Oyster said, uh, We're going to have a uh, we're gonna have a no fud. We, we that, that's this channel, bro. That's this channel. <laughs> that is literally this channel. No fud. This is the no fud channel, right? So we we have our no fud token, no fud koala on Solana. Prodigy, I appreciate that, bro. Family right there. Desmond said, "Family first. Family first. That happened to me with Bitcoin, but I was able to recover it. Thank God. Nice. Good job." I'm sure you're uh, you're probably talking about your wallet. Carlos, what's going on? What's going on? Look at ladies. It looks like on this chart, we formed this beautiful W pattern right here on the short term. So I wouldn't be surprised if we start going on another little run with uh, ladies, you know, as we speak. Bitcoin's really holding that 70,000 pretty strong. So tomorrow, we're going to have to see how it goes as far as what the markets bring. You guys already know. Markets open up 9:30 Eastern Standard Time in the states, and that's usually been where we're getting our um, where the volume will start. So, but look at me, late. Just look at this. We had that retracement. Look, we're just pointing up, bro. We are literally. I'm telling you guys, it looks strong. It really does. It looks great. Blue Earth just said, "Sorry to get you boys upset in the Discord chat today. It's all good, bro. You weren't getting nobody upset." But you got to, you know, you got to just hold your head up tight, bro. Hold your head up high. I know you're not a rookie around here, bro. You're not a rookie around here. You know what these new projects, they're going to, you know, they're going to have explosive moves. We're going to have retracements. That's why the only thing I can safely say is just eat the dips up, bro. That's all I can say. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, we can't stop somebody from buying and selling on anything, right? Or we would stop them on me lady. <laughs> We'd stop them on me lady. We can't stop them. You know what I'm saying? So the only thing we can do is control what we can control, and that's buying in on the dips and, and eating up their position because they, they're they not on this channel. They don't know us. They don't know what, what's going to happen with that project long term. We do. So no worries, bro. Just just hold your head up tight and be strong, bro. Yeah, Token said Leash only has $100,000 total supply and a small market cap. That's why I was telling them, I'm like, I wouldn't, you know, if I, we see a, you know, a crazy price on leash, I wouldn't be surprised whatsoever. Adam, what's going on? Amar said, all my friends FOMO'd in only that, uh, let's see here. All my friends FOMO'd in only after, uh, only this week after I've been telling them for months and months. Amor, that's what's going to happen, bro. And, and listen, it's going to get worse as we continue. It's going to get worse as you continue. Someone came up to me at, at um, one of my buddies at the gym. That knows I have a you know a big YouTube channel and I always preach you um, crypto right and he came up to me finally he was like bro I just bought in on Bitcoin this was when it was at like right at sixty so he's he's up but I'm looking at him like boy I've been telling your ass about Bitcoin and like you know I'm not telling him you need to buy but I'm like bro at like fifteen grand I'm like this is a steal <laughs> you know and like they wait until it's like freaking pumping like crazy to jump in on the project you know you you can't you can't force anybody to do anything right. So, can't force anybody to do anything. Can we check out DiCaprio? What the hell did Leo DiCaprio come out with his own project, bro? Not the cap. Uh, I believe it would be this one right here. That's hilarious. This thing's on an epic run. So when did it come out? It came out technically yesterday. It's on an epic run. Beautiful market cap. Liquidity's all there. Looks good. Looks good, dude. I mean, obviously the best time would have been buying this this uh, down here, but from where it's at, looks looks really good. I mean, the only thing I would say is I don't know if you're in or if you got a position in, but just you know, you pump like crazy. What did we just talk about new, about new projects, right? People are up probably massively in the last like two days so you're gonna see cool off period so if you're not in on this project yet i would say just hold off and be patient if this is a long-term play look for anything under this uh, 0.5 
You can see we did find some support right here at the 382. This is at the 37. But look for something under this 0.5, somewhere around there. And uh, if you have patience, you might be able to get on a good uh, good position if this is a long-term play for you. But definitely looks good, man. Looks good. Looks very nice. Very nice. So let's do a recap, guys, because remember I told you, unfortunately, tonight, not unfortunately, it's it's mom's birthday so it's not going to, you know, I, I can't be on for too long. But tomorrow we'll be right back on track on the uh, on the, sh the videos or the stream. And we'll be on for, you guys know, we normally do two, two, three hours. So uh, let's see here. So for Bitcoin real quick, I just want to give you guys, make sure, don't leave yet. Listen to what I'm about to say. We need to hold this 69,000 for Bitcoin. So if we retrace back and bounce at 69, I'd be more happier than just staying around where we're at. I want to see this nice confirmation above the 69, just giving me that confirmation that we're going to continue to bounce and we're going to be on a nice run. Still calling that 76 to $80,000 Bitcoin pre habiting and it looks like we are setting up beautifully for that. For me, lady, we made a new, uh, nice local high today. Not an all-time high, but a local high at around that 34. Same thing for me, lady. I want to see us bounce at this 30 mark. When I get confirmation as bounce at this 30 mark, we're setting up for a beautiful run. I think this week, as long as we don't get hit with no curveballs, I think we're doing great and we're going to have some good, beautiful numbers this week. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. I do have to run. I'm so sorry for the short stream tonight. Make sure if you guys haven't already, hit that like, hit that subscribe, jump in the Discord. Make sure you guys check out the new uh, the, the channel's token, No Fud Koala trading on radium and, and um, Jupiter on Solana. We're going to the moon. We're taking this up to a billion dollar market cap. So jump on with us. Like I keep telling you guys, eat those dips up. We're going to be great. All right. Other than that, guys, again, you guys know I would be here with you all night. I do have to go because of family, but I appreciate you guys so much. Hope you guys are safe tonight. I will be right back here tomorrow and we're going to have a beautiful stream. All right, guys, if you need anything, jump on the discord. I'll be in there. All right. Thank you guys so much. Thank you again, Mike, for the happy birthday. Sean, JoJo, everybody, Plan B. If I didn't say anything to you guys tonight, just know it's all love. I will see each and every one of you guys tomorrow.